Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So, Josh, we're going to be dropping temperatures, right? Yeah, we've got some big changes on the way. You know, it's been chilly, but it's about to get cold here in the Contra Valley, and we're also going to have to be dealing with some moisture, too. You can already see some effects of that as we go through time on your time lapse. Looking through today, you can see all the clouds that came on in. That's moisture increasing in multiple levels of the atmosphere, not just in the mid levels, but also in the lower levels of the atmosphere. And that's going to set us up for some pretty good rainfall. Today, our high was 59 degrees. That after starting off the morning at 28, our average is 62 and 35. It's been as warm as 83 on this day and as cold as 20 back in 1950. But again, we are tracking a strong cold front. It's not going to be as cold tonight. I'm only expecting lows to drop down into the 40s. But that strong cold front comes in as we head into Thursday night and also into Friday. That will bring the potential with it for some heavy rain and also maybe even some winter stuff in parts of the Concha Valley. Now, I'm not expecting much, but it still could mix in. We'll talk about it in just a little bit. 48 degrees right now in Abilene. It's 34 up in Little Rock. 50 degrees in Waco. 44 in Amarillo. Freezing in Albuquerque and 39. Nine right now in Marfa. Here in the Contra Valley, mainly dealing with those temperatures in the upper 40s, lower 50s. They haven't moved much since we talked to you at uh, 6 o'clock earlier. 51 right now in Eden. It's 47 in Ballinger. 46 in Ozona and 50 degrees currently in Sterling City. The dew points have risen along with those clouds coming back and that's going to act as kind of a filter on the temperatures tonight. They aren't going to be able to drop as much. Another reason is because the winds are still blowing about 5 to 15 miles per hour. With all the clouds in place though, not going to see those temperatures drop much. We'll be waking up with them in the 40s. You see a watch over to our north. We'll go over to that in a little bit. A few showers showing up in northern Mexico, but all this cloud cover hanging around is going to be with us tomorrow too. A few fronts to our north. This one is actually going to work to the south and brings us some colder air. It doesn't arrive till Thursday and it combines with this system off to the west and that's why they've had to issue a winter storm watch over there uh, to our north right now from uh, Lubbock over towards Amarillo. That's until noon on Saturday and that's because of the potential of snow and not only snow but also maybe even ice coming with that system that currently is spinning off the coast of California. That's going to keep working off to the east as we head through the next few days. This blue line here is the freezing line. We're going to have to watch it very closely. That front pulls down as we head into the overnight hours on Thursday. Behind it, a lot of moisture being lifted up over it. That's going to lead to widespread rainfall, not only Thursday overnight, but also into Friday. Friday, I'm expecting all of us to get rain. The heaviest showers could be off to our east there will be some band that sets up and there will also be a dry area so it's hard to really nail down those rainfall totals just yet but either way looking like some pretty good rain coming in as that low pressure system pulls off to the north friday afternoon and evening behind it we'll see drier air work on in we'll also see colder air work on in look how close that freezing line is getting to sterling county some of that may start to change over into some snow maybe some wintry mix north of san angelo as we head into saturday morning and then dry air quickly cuts it off and we may even see some sunshine by the time we head into Saturday afternoon. Starting off Sunday morning, though, we're going to have a widespread freeze across the area. But the big story will be those rain chances. We've got a 20% chance tomorrow, cranking that up to 50% on Thursday evening. Friday, I've got an 80% chance of rain. I hesitate to ever put 100, so we've got 80 right now. 70% chance Friday evening, and then start to dry out as we head into Saturday. How much rain are we talking about? One and a half, maybe two inches across the Contra Valley. Some areas may pick up three. Heavier rain's going to be off to our east over there towards Austin and also towards Houston. As far as snowfall is concerned, maybe, maybe just a few slight flurries in our northern counties. It's going to be a mess off to the north, maybe picking up close to six inches, maybe even a foot in some spots of the panhandle. And as far as ice is concerned, not expecting much in the way of ice, thankfully. We were seeing the potential for some as we started off earlier this evening, but now that has worked off to the north and shouldn't cause us any issues. Tonight, though, temperatures falling down to the mid 40s, and then tomorrow we're climbing up into the upper 50s, uh, pretty close to 59 before that front comes in. Normally, should be at 61 and our record is 81 in 2012 but behind that front it's going to be downright chilly look at friday we've got a high of 39 cold and rainy that temperature drops down to 33 saturday morning if the rain's still around we're going to have to watch some of that stuff could turn into some freezing rain maybe some sleep again best chance is going to be north of san angelo and i don't think it's going to cause any issues however if you're traveling to the north over towards lubbock and Amarillo and also Wichita Falls, you're going to have to rethink those plans. It may be a mess. We're back into the 60s, though, as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's the good news, but big cold snap coming on. Right. It might get some rain, too. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Josh. Coming up after the break, the French.